guys what's up i am bahar and welcome back to my channel are you tired of saying good morning every time you wake up and good night every time you want to go to bed why don't we spice it up today we're gonna learn some fun ways instead now what you're waiting for let's watch it learn it let's begin with some phrases that you can use instead of saying good morning when you see someone wakes up early in the morning you can tell them early bird catches the worm it is like someone who wakes up early in the morning and starts working they will be more successful in the future and they are gonna achieve their goal faster the early bird catches the worm it kind of has a sense of motivation and competition like those people who are a little bit lazy and they want to sleep up until 11 a.m they are not gonna achieve their dream fast because they are not gonna work so hard for it early bird catches the worm the early bird catches the worm the phrase number two is top of the morning to you it's a friendly and warm way to say good morning and it can be used as a way of starting a conversation and breaking the ice in a social situation top of the morning to you when you want to start talking to someone in the morning you can say top of the morning to you and you can continue your conversation top of the morning to you top of the morning to you <laughs> The phrase number three is bright and early. Well, it describes the time that is very early in the morning, like before sunrise. Also, it describes someone who wakes up early in the morning. And when you see them, you can tell them bright and early. Morning, bright and early. Bright and early. The phrase number four that I love it so much is wakey wakey exam bakey well the first part which is wakey wakey it's a friendly and informal way to wake someone up and make them feel more active in the morning and when you say eggs and bakey you're kind of showing them that the breakfast is ready it's time to start your day with a tasty meal wakey wakey eggs and bakey wakey wakey the phrase number five is howdy. It's a shortened form of how do you do and is a friendly and informal way of saying hello. Like when you see someone in the morning, instead of saying hello, how are you? You can say howdy. Howdy. Another day, another dollar. Well, this phrase is used when you want to emphasize that work is an important part of your life. And when you want to earn a living, you should definitely work so hard for your dream. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Oh, another day, another dollar. The next phrase that I use a lot is rise and shine. Well, when you want to wake someone up and you want to tell them to be more energetic and have a positive attitude, you can tell them rise and shine. And after that, you can tell them to be more enthusiastic and energetic for the rest of the day. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. If you are at your office and you want to be a little bit polite, you can say, good day to you well it is used to say hello and wish someone a pleasant day like when you are greeting someone in a polite manner instead of saying hello good morning you can say good day to you good day to you sir good day to you sir good day the next sentence is my favorite one you can say good morning sunshine well you know sunshine is used for someone who has a bright and positive attitude so when you say good morning sunshine they feel more energetic and they want to be more active in the morning good morning sunshine when someone doesn't want to wake up or get out of the bed, you can tell them, hey, sleepy head, like they are frowning and they feel a little bit sleepy. They would say, I want to go back to sleep again. You can tell them, hey, sleepy head, you can be more energetic in the morning. Hey, buddy. Hey, wake up, sleepy head. And the last one is hi there or hello there well this one is used when you want to attract someone attention in the morning and show them your presence like you want to start the conversation and you would say hi there good morning let's continue with different phrase to say good night the first one is dream away it has a sense of relaxation and freedom and encouraging them to let go of their worries 
and enjoy the experience of dreaming. The phrase number two is sleep with the angels. It's kind of a cute way to say good night, like you are telling them you will be protected by angels when you are asleep, so they feel more comfortable and calm before they go to bed. The next one is catch you later or see you in the morning. Catch you later. Catch you later. Like when you know you are gonna see that person again tomorrow before you go to bed you can tell them catch you later or see you in the morning because you expect to see that person again the next day. The next one is so cute and lovely. You can say nighty night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Let's talk about each of these parts individually. Well, nighty night means good night. It's another way of saying Good night before you go to bed. Nighty night. Nighty night. And also when you say sleep tight, it means I hope you have a pleasant sleep. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. And the third part is don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, it's just a funny and silly way to say good night, like you are telling them there are some insects or bugs in your bed and don't let them to bite you while you're asleep. But seriously, this is just a funny and silly way to say goodnight and it is not true. When you see someone feels nervous or worried about something, you can tell them sleep well, like you hope they will rest well and they are gonna wake up feeling refreshed and energized in the morning. The next one is sweet dreams. I think you guys have heard this before, like when you wanna say goodnight or goodbye before you go to bed, when you want to finish your conversation instead of saying goodbye you can say sweet dreams like you wish someone to have pleasant dreams and sleep well have a good rest or rest easy when someone has had a busy day and they feel so tired or swamped right now you can tell them take a break and get some rest so you can say rest easy Okay guys, that was it for today's video. If this video was useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now and like this video to support me and to let YouTube algorithm know that you have enjoyed this content. Also, if you know some other ways to say good morning or good night, you can tell me in the comments and if you have some other questions, you can ask me in the comments. I will read all of your feedbacks and answer your questions. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Have a nice day.